Hey y'all, Ivory Sky here, and I want to post a follow-up video to my Sonos computer speakers video. Now, if you watch my Sonos computer speakers video, you know that I use a pair, a stereo pair of Sonos Aero 100s, and then I use the Sonos Sub Mini. But I've had a lot of questions. Appreciate your questions. I've responded, but I wanted to respond with this video so you can see. I'm going to share my Sonos app right now. Let me set my screen record on here so I can get a recording. Okay, now it's going to start my screen record. So I'm going to flash up my Sonos app and I'm going to show you step by step within the app how I have my Sonos computer speakers configured. Now, I'm using my Sonos speakers in conjunction with a MacBook Pro laptop, but you may be plugging it into something else. It may be a Windows computer. It may not even be a computer. It may be some sort of other device but so you can see here in my main system I've got a lot of Sonos rooms here at the Appalachian Ocean uh, but my computer is in what's called the Mac Office Sonos so I've got left plus right plus sub so I'm going to select that and you can see I've got uh, I've got my uh, my left era 100 my right era 100 my sub mini and then I'm going to scroll down here. I have the line in connected. Now this is a question a lot of y'all have had. If I'm using line in instead of Bluetooth, do I need to connect it to my left Sono speaker or my right Sono speaker? My best recommendation would be in my case, where you know, however your laptop's configured, if the if the uh, if the line in is on the left or the right side of the laptop or the computer, that may be how you decide. And actually, I probably should move mine to my left because my new computer, my MacBook Pro, the uh, line in on it is on the left instead of the right. Completely up to you, but no, you do not have to use two Sonos line in cables. You only need one Sonos line in cable, and you can connect it to either the left or the right speaker within your, uh, within your Sonos stereo pair that you set up within the app. And your Sonos Sub, that's completely optional. I added a Sub to my Sonos left and right pair, but you don't have to do that. But the left, the right, and the Sub will all function through the Line In cable. So now let's go to the Line In. I'm going to click Line In R, which is Line In Right. And these are the settings that I have. So the source name is just Audio Component. Now the source level is Level 6 which is Mac computer and you can see here there's a lot of things that you can choose among Mac computer airplay AV component portable player PC but I chose Mac computer because Sonos already had identified within this app that you're looking at right now the Sonos app they already had Mac computer identified as as an option so people are like man eh? I didn't know you could use Sonos speakers with a Mac computer well obviously you can because Sonos is even included level 6 Mac computer is an option as you see there so that's what I've selected and then when you go back you can select the other option which is audio delay now this explains it. it says more delay means more reliable audio if your source includes video try low medium or high if your source is audio only max may be the best so in my case I'm doing a lot of video editing with Final Cut Pro on my Mac computer on my MacBook Pro computer so I would go anywhere from high, medium, to low. And actually with high, it's perfectly acceptable for me. A lot of people are like, man, the audio is out of sync. And with any wireless audio solution, even though the you know, you're using the line in, so it's hardwired from the Mac to, the, to one of the two Sono speakers, there's probably going to be a little bit of audio delay. I mean, if you're that nitpicky, then you probably don't even want to consider this, consider Sonos is a computer speaker solution. With that being said, I edit videos all the time, including this video that you're watching now with my MacBook Pro computer, Final Cut Pro 10, and it's connected by way of line in to one of my two Sonos speakers, and it works great. So if you want to look at the technical, and yeah, on paper, there's probably some sort of delay, but in reality, do you notice it? Maybe you do, but I don't. But it's the best computer, best computer speaker solution, rather, that I've ever used, and I wouldn't use anything else. 
But like I said, I've got the two Aero 100s in a stereo pair, and then I've paired the Sonos Sub Mini. Sonos Sub Mini completely optional. Likewise, you could only use one Sonos speaker. So maybe you start out with one Sonos Aero 100, and then in the future you decide to add a second, which makes it a stereo pair within the Sonos app. And then maybe in the far future you decide to add a Sonos Sub. That's one of the great things about Sonos. It's a modular system. You can start small and then add additional components. But for my MacBook Pro, the two Aero 100s with the Sonos Sub Mini sounds phenomenal. And it gives me an accurate representation like this video right now. When I'm reviewing it before I publish it to YouTube, obviously you're watching this. It's already been published to YouTube. But I can get a realistic expectation for how the audio is probably going to sound when the viewer is watching this video on YouTube. So Sonos Aero 100 stereo pair with sub works great for my MacBook Pro. It's, you know, Sonos stereo pair with sub, in my opinion, is the absolute best computer speaker solution. So I hope this video helped. If it did, uh, please like this video, subscribe, ring that bell to be notified whenever I post another video. And if it makes you feel really good, send me a super thanks. Not required, but you can look down below and there's that thanks button. You can choose to click, to click thanks and you can choose to send me a super thanks and that helps to support videos like this one. And likewise, if you're shopping for Sonos equipment, expand this video's description and click the link there. You can find the Aero 100 speakers like I use, the Sonos Sub Mini like I use, and then also the Sonos line-in cable like I use for audio with my MacBook Pro. And keep in mind, you don't want to go with a third-party cable. You've got to get the Sonos branded line-in cable for everything to function correctly. It's a little bit different ecosystem. And, uh, and then also want to say, if you don't want to use the line-in, alternatively, you could use Bluetooth and establish a Bluetooth connection between your computer and your Sonos stereo pair or your Sonos individual speaker. It's completely up to you. Thanks for your viewership. Be sure to subscribe. Ring that bell when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here. I hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to subscribe to my channel and when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.